the kind of press. Um, and yet, I think uh, General Scott wrote an excellent letter that I guess you all received this morning. We've had many meetings in Ybor City with the community leaders on the Planning and Infrastructure Board and also the Ybor City Development Corporation Board who voted unanimously yesterday to accept the compromise of just leaving 7th Avenue. Uh, Tony LaCola, the president of the West Side Association, spent a lot of time, research, and submitted a lot of paperwork uh, on behalf of 7th Avenue. There's a marker at 7th Avenue and 13th Street that is awarded 7th Avenue one of the 10 best streets in, Amer in America. Uh, I wrote to Madrid. I got an answer from Madrid. It said that uh, they were accepting both spellings only because the P became relaxed. But their quote unquote words were that the educated, the cultured, and the preferred spelling of septima was with PT. That's where I feel like my grandparents came in because I feel like, yes, they came to America and they may not have been educated in the American education, but my nana used to listen to La Cariata and Puccini and Verdi and Pagliacci, and so they came as cultured people. I think this is a great compromise. I think it is sad that our ancestors will be looking down and seeing that we have now been reduced to a cartoon. Um, I don't usually compromise on much and usually stick to my grounds, like when I extended the historic district to let everybody know something existed past the Columbia restaurant. But I think this is a good compromise for everybody. It is 7th Avenue. It was Broadway. I don't think we need anything else. It uh, reflects on the award that we got, and I think it's great. And I had a lot of calls and a lot of emails and no offense to Ms. Capin, but they pronounced her name as Mrs. Capin, Mrs. Capin. And so the ongoing of Septima, Septima can go on forever, but I think a good compromise is just to remove it all and leave it as our famous seventh avenue. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.